Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am very excited to be making this video today because a couple of weeks ago Adobe made some major updates to Lightroom. One of these updates is the new masking tool and it is completely changing the game when it comes to creating white background photos. So what is it and how do we use it? Let's get started. Masking is a process used in photo editing to protect part of an image from any adjustments that you are making to the rest of that image. It works in the same way as using masking tape when you are painting a wall. You put the tape around the edges that you don't want to get the paint on. Then after painting, you remove the tape to reveal a nice straight edge. So in photography terms, we can place a mask over our product then make changes to the back background, such as making it white. That is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Start by finding the image that you want to work on in your Lightroom library. Then select Edit from this drop-down menu. Now you will see that the masking tool is the first one on our toolbar at the bottom here. Tap on that to get started. Now we have this blue plus button in the bottom right corner. Let's tap on that to create a mask. We have lots of options to create masks. If you've been using Lightroom for a while, you will recognize some of these options such as the brush, linear gradient and radial gradient. These are not new tools, but have just been renamed from local adjustments tools to masking tools. There's also a lot of new options though, which use advanced AI to create a mask. These are select subject, select sky, color range, luminance range, and depth range. Today, we are gonna work with the select subject option. If you want to learn about the other options, just let me know in the comments and I can make another video on them for you. So tap select subject to start creating your mask. Lightroom will do its thing for a moment and then your product will appear with a red overlay. This red overlay is your mask. You'll also see that we have a few more things on the screen. On the right, the blue plus button has moved up and we now have two more squares below it. The first square looks like a black and white version of your image. This is the top layer of your mask. The white parts of this square represent the mask and the black parts represent everything else. Below that, we have a symbol that looks like a person with dots around them. This shows the type of mask you are using, the select subject mask. If we tap on that square, we get a menu with some basic options for the mask. The last button on the right has a plus and minus symbol. Tap on it and you get the option to add to mask or subtract from mask. This is perfect for the times when the AI doesn't correctly mask your product. Maybe it has included part of the background in the image that you don't want masked, or it has missed part of the product that you do want masked. When you tap on either of these options, you can choose the type of mask that you want to use to remove or add. Generally, I use the brush option at this stage, so tap on the brush tool. On the right, you will see another square with a brush symbol. This is part of the mask created by the brush. On the left, we have some tools to help us control the brush, including brush size, feather, and opacity. Set the brush how you want and start painting over the image with your finger. As you paint, you will see the mask on the right change. The paintbrush also has an eraser, so if you paint over something by mistake, you can use the eraser to undo it. 
Now, if you're finding it hard to see your mask clearly, tap on these three dots in the top right corner. This gives you the option to change how the mask overlay looks. You can change the color and the mode. This will help you to create the perfect mask over your product. Next to these three tops is a button to turn the mask display on and off as well. This can be useful in ensuring the mask is covering the right parts of the image. Once you are happy with your mask, we actually want to invert it so that we can make changes to the background. We can do that by selecting the bottom mask from the panel on the right. In this case, that is the symbol of a person. Then tapping the symbol on the right, which is black and white square with a black and white circle inside. Now the mask has moved to the background and we can start editing that area using these tools at the bottom. To create a white background, I'm going to use the light panel. I'm going to push the exposure slider all the way to the right. See how that has only affected the mask area and left the product as it was shot. Depending on your product, you may need to play with some other sliders to get your background perfectly white. When you are done, hit the tick in the bottom right corner and that's it. This process is now so simple, it's going to save you so much time in editing your photos. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos on improving your product photography. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.